Okay guys, I'm going to make a short video here. Um, I'm going to do a full video on the installation I did, which was a uh, the Diamondback cover with the front runner load bars and the eye camper rooftop tent. But uh, until I get that, I wanted to do a very short video on mounting the match tracks to that configuration. <clears throat> uh, I got this actually stole this idea from Mike at Last Line of the Fence. He did a great job in um, giving a lot of detail in that whole setup. Uh, he has the same setup on his Tacoma, and with my Raptor having the short bed, the iCamper Mini was really the only solution. And Diamondback um, had to partner with Front Runner and make it very easy. The kit was all set up, and the only hard part was drilling into a brand new Diamondback cover. For the load bars when you when it was brand new so other than that it was uh it was a, a pretty good install um what i wanted to show was then the issue was how do i mount my max tracks i wanted them on the outside i wanted them on the driver's side i wanted to show you uh my setup here and give you some ideas in case you run into the same things now when it comes to the max tracks uh mounting these it was interesting um, I could not find anything off the shelf that would fit this configuration, okay? Uh, there are some mounts you can find. But this was a pretty tight fit for this, uh, the front runner load bar and the iCamper Mini. But uh, it's something you just make yourself. I bought this bracket at Lowe's. It's aluminum, so it's easy to bend. Uh, with a, a vise and a mallet, you can bend it to the angle you want. I cut this end off. This was just a, a regular L bracket. It stuck out about here. So I cut that end off, kind of ground it down a little bit, make it smooth, drilled the hole where I wanted it and mounted it in here. So it turned out great. I mean, it's at the angle that I wanted and just, just above the edge of the uh, cover and uh, it worked out great. Perfect fit. And so, uh, simple, simple stuff. So anyway, that's, uh, I wanted to cover that to make sure you were aware in case you wanted to mount the match tracks. And what I think is the con most convenient spot to mount them is on the driver's side, on the side, easy access. Um, love that mount. Okay, just want to make another note here as I'm um, switching out the uh, bolts I had before I got these max tracks pins in uh, the the pins are not in the same alignment as the bolts so uh, I'm gonna have to move a load bar over now this is the only part about the front runner load bars that are a little bit of a pain is they're a little bit more complex and moving them um, so once you take off the the bolts on the back this front plate comes off and then you'll see these two bolts. You have to loosen these on both sides, move it in. I've got it marked an inch and a quarter over. That's what I've estimated that I'm gonna need it to be moved over, but I have to do that on both sides. So I had to take the pressure off of this little jack so I can move it, um, get everything freed up and moved over. So other than that, I love this system, uh, but to make any adjustments, it is a little bit more involved, but, uh, but not a big deal. Just wanna make a note of that. 